All right. So, yeah, the other day I had come across this thread, the uh, all-in-one retro mod. And I've been here on the NLSC for a little bit, but I've never really dove too deep on all-in-one mods before. Um, but, I mean, I've probably had the same issue as a lot of you guys where I got sick of renaming folders and everything. And especially since I game on a TV, I try to stay off of a microphone, or excuse me, off of a keyboard as much as possible. So I found this all-in-one retro mod and... Awesome. Tremendous work. It's literally everything that I've been looking for. Uh, but one of the issues I had was the batch file that it comes with. While super straightforward, just press 1 or 2 or whatever option it is, and then enter. And you end up with whatever mod it is that you want to play. But again, I'm trying to limit keyboard use as much as possible. So, mess around with the bat file a little bit. And if you could see here... I have it so that I could input with my controller. Um, a, B, X, Y, L, B. I mean, this is a play, uh, excuse me, an Xbox controller, but you could obviously use a PlayStation controller. Uh, and start instead of enter and left click um, on the left stick for backspace. Um, the way I was able to do this was through a program that I've used in the past called Anti Micro. And I'll open that up for you real quick. Now it's going to say no joysticks have been found just because my controller is off, but let me turn that on so you can see what it looks like. And once this comes on, give it a second, boom, and you can see the sticks are detecting. Now, the way that I was able to do this was, excuse my messy folders right now, but we have the bat file right here. We, again, ignore these, I was messing around with some things, but... We have a bat file here, again, the same thing that you see in the in the thread. Oop. But in Notepad Plus, basically what I did was, uh, this is the original, let me delete this. Um, so you could see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down to 9, enter. Pretty, I don't code as a reference, I know zero about coding, I just kind of know how to read things sometimes, and I just tweak, and if I'm able to get, to, to get it to work, I get it to work, but... We have 1 through 9, and then obviously if choice 1, if the choice equals 1, you go to default, retro. Now I know he was talking about adding, I think, 75 options, and uh, this is version 1.3 or 1.0.3. Uh, so when he does release that update, I imagine this becomes obsolete. But for the time being, again, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 through 9, um, and that'll get you those nine different options. Basically what I did was I just, instead of one, I typed A, instead of two, I typed B, so on and so forth. And I reflected that right here. Um, with anti-micro, this is where the magic really happens. Um, you could see here, I have a, a profile called NBA 2K20 bat. And that's just for this batch file that I'm running. Um, and down here, you could see that I have A to A, X to X, B to B, and Y to Y. Basically what I did was, I'm setting my A button so that when I press A, um, it'll register whatever keystroke I want it to register. So in this case, I, for simplicity's sake, I just kept it to A um, because I used to have it named uh, just one so that I didn't have to edit the text in the, in the bat file. But that in interfered with the game a little bit because one on the keyboard, uh, I believe, is pass or um, or shoot. It's one of the two face buttons. But basically, by hitting that, uh, like in a menu, sometimes it would also register as back. I just wanted to avoid confusion within the game, so I just changed it to A. So I would just click on A, and boom, it's registered. It gets a little confusing for buttons like LB and LT. Um, so in this case, we'll go to right shoulder. And in this, you'd have to go to advanced here. And then R and B. Oop, B. Um, so we'll close that. That's saved. Close again. Boom. Registered RB. Um, that's just so you can get it to press two keys in succession. Um, and that's how you're able to get it to launch. 
um, just fine. Uh, so I have all the buttons, shoulder buttons and face buttons. Uh, start is enter, left click is backspace, and then the back button, you can see I even mapped it to B-A-C-K, um, which would correspond with the summer circuit. Um, and I have that map, map to the back button. Um, the real way to get that, I had a lot of trouble getting this to work. Um, not with the batch file. The batch file is really easy to get to work with, but when I'd go into game, I'd have a lot of problems with, uh, like I said before, the face button's not lining up properly, but that's fixed by renaming the buttons. But one issue I had was when I would go to search for a roster, and say I would type the letter P on the in-game keyboard. Uh, since I'm pressing the button A to press the letter P, um, it would hit P and then the letter A. And then if I hit O, it would be O, then the letter A. Uh, so on and so forth. So in Anti-Micro, I have two separate configs. In an auto profile, you could have it so that as long as Anti-Micro is open, um, and you can see I have it to launch at Windows Startup, uh, launch and tray so it doesn't get in the way or anything like that. Um, so when I have that batch file um, opened, um, it'll launch that profile that you saw earlier. But this persists through the whole time that you have 2K open. So what I did to combat that was I created a second profile, tied it specifically to the 2K20 EXE. And it's just a blank config, which means that none of the buttons that you see uh, on your controller are mapped to anything. So technically both configs are running at the same time, I believe, but this one takes priority and it doesn't interfere with the game whatsoever. Uh, hope that makes sense. Again, I'm not like a, I'm generally techie. I'm not like really good at this kind of stuff, uh, but I'm going to close this out. Um, yes, I'll close this. And you can see it's still there. So I wouldn't worry too much about that going away. So I'm going to close all these. Um, I'm going to close this as well. Yeah. And then I'll just launch a bat file. Ah, uh, yeah, let's save that. And so I just want to launch the retro roster from Thunder Shack. Shack, awesome roster. So I'll press the B button and then start. And it operates the same way as if I was using a keyboard. Uh, gameplay may look a little laggy here. That's only because I'm just doing remote access from my main desktop to my TV computer. Um, but you can see all the files are loaded up properly. Um, and then I'll try to get in just so you can see that it does work. Menu buttons work just fine. Um, and even if I were to go to search something, and I hit the Y button, search by ID, blah, 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 boom. And you can see it works perfectly fine. There's no additional letters being typed or anything like that. And just to verify, just for my own sanity, I'll run just a quick game. I'm not going to play it. I just want to launch it. All right. Classic. O2. Sure. And again, it will look choppy. It's just because I'm remoting in, and it hates <laughs> being remoted in. So once this lead loads up to 100, I just want to make sure that the files do load the way that they should. They, I haven't had any issues with it not happening, but better safe than sorry. All right, and it looks like it has. I can see the court. Spencer Haywood's right there. Or Brendan Haywood, excuse me. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. This all is right, Kevin even Allen. we got the Our ESPN scoreboard. Team awesome. Team so we're all good to go. We're going to quit out. I'm going to close 2K because I don't need this anymore. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Sorry if it wasn't the mo most concise explanation, but um, that's just a little bit of fiddling that I've done. I, again, not a coder. I could um, understand the first few lines of, of what he has written here, but... Everything passed here. While I get what it's doing, I could have never done it myself. But uh, this video went on way longer than I thought it would. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, please um, drop a comment in the thread. And I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities. Hope this was good for you guys. Thanks.